use the word pray, we don't pray with words. I've never heard, walked into the room and Armel's in there on her knees, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know, it's the most ridiculous thing because prayer is desire. He says, he tells us in the song, in the song of prayer, your prayer is your desire. God knows the prayer of your heart before you utter a words, and the more your desire is focused, you know, just given over, then, ah, the words are really mm. unnecessary. And even when I go to a gathering or a retreat and they say, would you tell us a prayer? I'm always like, looking like, I'm, I'm living, a, I am a living prayer, <laughs> but it's almost like speaking a prayer sounds more like a strange idea to me anymore. Or, or five things, or six, when you first started to ask the question, I thought, I don't think we can come up with one. Because, because it's not, it's not a conceptual or a, a word experience anymore. You can see there's lots of words perceived from it. That's what you've been hearing this week and, and witnessing and perceiving. But, but prayer is desire. And, and you might say we, we've cleared the altar. There is no desire for a future. I can tell you I have absolutely no ambition. If you think you've had parents that say that you're lacking ambition, they should meet me. Because uh, I have no ambition at all. There's what? No ambition. That's a desire. But it's a point for, it's like a stepping stone. You know, until you get to that point of no ambition, you know, just a couple of things to keep in mind with everyday practice. Yeah. So we might say that the that's almost like a, something yeah. that spews out of our joy and happiness. Some words occasionally, and you can grab them as they are sprinkling around like little raindrops. But but the I amness, you know, it isn't a no or a yes with anything. It's it's prior. Before Abraham was, I am. It's a prior state of mind. That's what the prayer is. The prayer is is before time. Mm -hmm. So when we say pray, it's not for us an event that's in the timeline. You know, we the words can come out. You know, I, I, I watched Nikita was doing, or uh, actually Armel was doing a, a com conference call, a counseling call with Nikita, and just said, "Pray." And yet, that was just words that were given, because the state of mind is like you're in the prayer. You are you are living the prayer. You are living that. Your desire is single. You are living that. And then that that helped too because. Uh, there's really no next step, so our friend Nikita is uh, in Hawaii, she's feeling it's, it's time to move on. Uh, she doesn't have to ask us for the next steps, it's like, it's all there, it's all within her. So, when our mouth said pray, it's like, just ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be open, that's all she was saying. And then grace came to mind. And so, it was like, oh. And we said, oh, very good. I, I said, I probably will see Grace. This was ago. And, and then, okay. And then Rick and Boris came to mind. And isn't that lovely? Nobody having to tell you, you need to do this, you need to do that, you should, you ought to, da 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 da. It was just pray and think, think, think. The Spirit is giving it, giving it, giving it. Now, isn't that relaxing to think that all you have to do is relax and pray and everything that you will even seem to need will just ding, 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 just drop, 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 right down for you without your effort. Isn't that wonderful? Because it's already there. It's not like you have anything to reach. It's always there. And it's a matter of just opening yourself up to receive what's already been given. And so prayer is not about asking, it's about receiving what's already there. And for awakening, enlightenment, it's the same thing. The I am cannot be reached by practices. It's the falling away of everything else. And it's realizing that it's already here, it's always been there. It's never not been there, it's never not been who we are. We've never been anything else, we just played a game. It's like carnival. You wear a costume and you forgot to take it 
to take it off and you believe, oh no, I'm Superman. And that's the same thing, like believing we are that. It's just carnival, really. There's nothing else but the I am-ness. <laughs>